Good evening, everyone. Welcome back, and thank you for joining me for more Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. Um, I think we're down. We're getting down to this. This might be the very end right now. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but I know that things are progressing and escalating further. Um, Detlaf is just full on just murdering, like, the whole city. Like, the whole, like, he's just taking out, like, everyone. Um, it's not good. It's, it's in actually very bad. Um, Regis kept telling us, like, oh, it's fine. He's fine. He's not evil. He's just... Impulsive like okay. Thank you. That's like not particularly helpful when he's like slaughtering a whole city though Um, I don't know if it like matters like motives that much like at that point like what, what's going on there Like I get that he's angry, but like what like you, you got to take it out on like the whole city because like you're mad at that lady like I, I like what? Excuse me <sighs> Anyways, um, so we can go get the lady we can go get her Sayana, I believe um, we can technically go get her I don't think I want to, because this whole other thing sounds much more interesting. Regis is not going to be happy with me. He is not going to be happy. I felt good about his plan. I felt good about Regis's plan until we went and asked where she was. And then I felt very bad about it. Like, instantly. Like, very bad. This one, Oriana's whole thing, right? Um, That started off kind of more bad, so I feel like it might end better. The whole thing at the orphanage, not like, that, that was all very dark. Also, like, why did she just trust us? Like, why? She, like, did she think we were, like, not gonna get upset? I mean, I guess she knew that we were not gonna kill her. She was just really confident that we were not gonna attack her, so, like, I mean, we didn't, so, like, that's fair. Like, I didn't even have the option, because we have, like, other business to attend to, so, you know. Anyway, um, Both paths worth playing. That's what it seems like. So, super interesting. I will have to uh, possibly reload and try the other one. I don't know if that'll be today. Maybe it will. Don't know. Guess we'll see. <laughs> Going with the flow. Um, there it is. So, let's see. So, Geralt was awkwardly telling the birds about the plan. <laughs> it looks like we go to meet Regis. So... Yeah, the whole thing at the orphanage was very dark and all. I just, I hope this, hope this works out. It honestly just sounds really cool. Maybe it's not, like, I, it sounds like it's going to be kind of cool. Maybe have, like, a cool fight or something. So let's, let's find out. Yeah, I hope I enjoyed this outcome, too. I don't really know. I really... I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm instantly like, did I make the right choice? Oh gosh. Ah, ah, ah. Ominous. So what's Regis gonna say about this? Uh oh. Though I didn't think this part of this through very much, he's not going to be happy with me. So, you decided to talk to Oriana after all. How did you fare? Not well. Oh. Did she not divulge where you might find the Unseen? No, she did. Also divulged her hunger for the blood of small yeah, children. Yeah, I don't know why she, like, showed well, us that. I'd heard rumors, but... ...preferred to lend them no credence. Rather oh, not talk about it. Caves west Ew. of town, other side of the lake. That's where we need to go. I see. Well, I'm prepared to set out at any time, but perhaps we could give it one more try. I mean, we were so close. Mm -hmm. But I changed my mind. Yet, perhaps you'd care to reconsider once more? Don't push it, Regis. Orphanage, Deadloff's fault. City gutters are overflowing with blood. Also his doing. And you're worried somebody might have hurt his feelings? Come on. In meeting the Unseen Elder, you will risk all. You cannot be certain to leave with your life. Yet, if we meet that last demand, the killing will cease at once. Yeah, and she's super gonna die. And will the killing stop after that? Like, I'm just, I'm worried. Like, I don't know if this is the right answer, but like, I'm worried. I'm worried. You cannot be starting to leave with your life. So that sounds like a sweet boss fight. 
in my opinion, um, which sounds kind of fun. Um, but don't make decisions based on sweet boss fights. But like, I don't know. Anyways, I don't even know. I, I'm not even sure if that's what that means. But that's what that sounds like. Yet if we meet Delev's demand, the killing will cease at once. Yeah, but like, she's gonna super die. She's super gonna die. But like, why did he vow that she would like not, like that no harm would come to her? I don't know, like, is he, like... He did not say that he would stand against Geralt if we went after Detlef, but he did not say that he was going to help. Like, I, I just... Okay, but even if I save and reload, my, my rules is whichever we choose first is like, that's what happened in our playthrough. Even if we see the other option later, that's like, that's just, we're just seeing. So, that's... That's irrelevant to my decision for now. So, like, no, I don't feel bad for Sayana, but, like, I mostly feel bad for, like, the Duchess. I mostly feel bad for her. I don't know. This is complicated. I'm... <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Everything's great. Um... No, I'm not gonna change my mind. I'm a witcher, Regis. I don't cut deals with monsters. I cut monsters down. And I don't give a damn about the risks. Hmm. Well, I understand. I'll not mention it again. Thanks. The stormy sea behind us and all. Oh, gosh. Time we were on our way. Listen, I need to sail there. Coming with? Or would you rather float over as a puff of fog? I'd not be able to talk as a puff. And, as you know, talking is something I'd very much like to do. Mm-hmm. At length and in detail. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. Do I get to hear it, or...? Nice. Know much about this unseen elder? Only that he takes unkindly to guests. Especially the unannounced. Oh, Joy. Got a plan? Some idea how to appease him? Mm-hmm. The custom when meeting an unseen elder is to bestow upon him a stone symbolizing peace. Yet this type of stone occurs only in Harkland. Take it you're fresh out. Alas, just so. Thus, I fear we must rely on my personal charm. You didn't bring the rock. Where'd the unseen's oh. hatred of social calls come from? Folk forget to wipe their boots. You get sick of sweeping up all the time? Hmm. It's somewhat more complex. Tell me slowly. Don't use complicated words and I might just understand. I don't doubt your intelligence, but... Well, it's just hard to explain to a human. This world is a foreign land to us. Unpleasant. Hostile, even. The Elder does what he can to isolate, protect himself. And we, as all guests, hinder him in this endeavor. Okay, weird. That's weird. I'll fly ahead. Reconnoitre a bit. Okay. See you there. I wonder how this is gonna go. He's surprisingly okay with this. Okay, we gotta go up and around. Hang on. Roach might be able to do that. Geralt, oh, Geralt. over here. Yeah, okay. Place of power. Should draw I'm from busy. it. I'm busy. Regis. Okay. So, um, is that Regis? That looks like Regis. Oh. Ahem. Might I suggest you use Oriana's key? I'm gonna make more saves. How many saves am I allowed to have? Okay, I've got a, I've got a lot. Cool. Here we go. 
It worked. And the good thing too, I'd be hard pressed to see through this gate as a puff of fog. What's inside? You know what to expect? Hmm. Vampires? Funny. Vampires. Wow. Let's find the unseen one first, then we'll talk. up here. Whoa, oh? got company. Then we must give them a <gasps> Oh, no, he took care of things. I'm just slashing away at nothing. Long dead at this point. Huh. Just trying to look for treasure. Is there treasure back there? Veris nats atranes, avile clever regis et. He looked a little scared. Oh, hi there. At last! Ah! Rather not hurt you. <laughs> I think I should have chosen the other option. I don't think it matters. Uh... I'm sorry? I'm... I'm sorry? I'm sorry? No! Am I dying? Wait! I didn't drink my 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 black blood potion. Oh no! Oh no! Did I? Uh, oh! Healing potion. Got to drink one. Oh! Damn it! Lost some gear. Uh, need to find it. We seem to be bleeding out a little bit. It's like a little bit. You know? Okay. Um. Heal, healing. Healing. Healing potion. I don't know if we have one of those at the moment. Do we? Which. What are these? Are we still dying? We are still dying. Okay. Uh. Uh. Geralt? Geralt? Oh my gosh. Okay, everything's great. Okay. So it gave me a crossbow, I notice. Okay. What 
Where's our swords? Damn it, that was close. Helder will kill me even if I get out of here. Unless oh, I think of something quick. Uh... Find a way to appease. There's, okay, there's those. Nice. Did it equip my swords? Nope. Grab those. Good. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like I should save at this point, too. Um, you know, might as well. Okay, so how? What the hell? What is this place? Skyrim? Like, what? Uh... Climb up there, unless I could give myself a boost. Uh... Well, Look around. Well, someone was here before me. Footprints. Deep set. A man's. Ten minutes after arrival, the teleportation worked. I managed to get into the caves with most of my equipment. Most importantly, the Megascope is in perfect condition, so I should be able to communicate with Vanard. I just have to set it up in the right place. Thirty minutes after. I have already observed numerous gravitational anomalies, which suggests that Sorrel Duerland was right. The boundary between spheres really is very thin here. Oh, they're talking about other worlds. More tests should allow me to determine whether a passage to our world really has opened up. I haven't met any vampires yet, but I can hear their voices. I'm going to explore. I'll have to be careful. Wonder what happened to him. Yeah, uh-oh. Statuette? I got the statue. A waterfall flowing upwards. Water flowing What's going up. On here? Oh. Where does where does this lead? Where do these footsteps lead? Show me what we got. Dang, okay. Hang on, inventory. seen a vampire like that in my life. Thank you for the quote, Geralt. Yeah. <laughs> they are relatives of Flutters, which came from the world of the higher vampires to our own during the conjunction of the spheres. 
The members of this species are characterized by their considerable strength and agility, as well as the strange glow they emit, a trait most likely tied to their otherworldly nature. They've never had significant contact with the outside world, having spent their entire time on our planet in the Unseen Elder's Cave, whose atmosphere is very similar to that of their home world. Weird. Okay, so his... The guy's footsteps led us in here. Strange apparatus I found. Yeah, here's the footsteps. In the books, there's multiple kinds of pirate vampires. Oh, trippy. Strange jewelry. Megascope. Damaged. Okay, so I found three different weird things. Okay, more strange apparatuses. Tablets. Two hours after arrival, starting the Megascope didn't work. I'm probably too far underground to make contact with Manard. Thus, I have to try to communicate with vampire superiors without further consultation. I better work fast. I wonder how that went for them. Is that stream flowing upwards? Strange. Clearly worth a look. down. Gravity's flipped, getting pulled up instead of down. Um... What armor did we just find? Whoa. It's a whole set. That's what we found, right? Should be it. Looks great. Hmm. Kind of, kind of keep going, huh? Oh. Coins? Like what? Water is flowing on the other side. And the way he could have survived too. Didn't stand a chance. Hang on. Oh gosh, he's about to land. But um. better at this. Maybe this will tell me something. Jan, Dean Marcellus has made it clear that as a specialist in post-conjunctive species, I am to provide you with all the help necessary in preparing for the trip you are planning. Maybe I'll just start with a warning. It's pure madness. Assuming that you survive teleportation, and opening a stable portal several dozen meters above the ground is, as you know, highly risky. You will then be torn to shreds. As much as vampires, superiors, or actually ra rational creatures with developed cognitive and analytical functions, other species may be less open to attempts to make contact. 
If by chance you do live to have an audience with this unseen elder, do the following immediately. Genuflect. Say words of greeting in their language. Then place on the ground the attached Hackland Argonite Crystal as a gift. Then and only then is there the slightest chance that you will be heard. But by the gods, speak quickly. And don't waste your words. Offering for the unseen. Damn, could use something like that. Yeah, good. Must be the offering for the unseen. Can I, can I pick it up? Maybe if I give this to the unseen elder, he won't kill me. Right away. Maybe, huh? Anything else over there? Hopefully not. Get up here. If we go around, right? Hopefully I found everything. Oh, no, it says no more. No, we go this way. Never mind. I assumed it was gonna take us back. It just wants me to go up. Start climbing a wall? No. That's not how that works. Um, okay. Getting there. Let's try. I'm so happy that worked. I'm so happy that worked. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Did it? Well, sort of. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we go back up there. I don't think there's anything else here. Here we go. A waterfall flowing upwards. What's going on here? A waterfall flowing so upwards. Can I not? What's going on here? Can I not go this way anymore? Can I not go this way anymore? What's happening here? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Hang on. Uh. A few moments later. Do I need to like jump up and across here? That works. Hey, that works. The yes. Rock extends to the side where gravity's reversed. Tip will fly upwards if it breaks off. Just gotta collapse the base. Time for Ard. That should do the trick. Yay. Poor girl. It's like enough already. Didn't take this path, but it's interesting. I I wonder what the other one is. I also don't know what's even going to happen out of this yet, so... Uh... Here we go. All that for this. Bam. Worked. Now just need the Elder to discover his talkative side. I feel like we could use a torch. Hey, 
That's better. Also, what happened to Regis? Did he, like, die? Or, like, uh... Guess we'll Barely. see. He's like, I thought I killed you. You're not you. attacking. That mean you'll hear me out? Perhaps... Speak. We are not here to ask about Regis. Not what I'm here to do. I am worried about him, but that's not... That's not the question. I don't know if I want to ask him any other questions, to be honest. I... Cave I came out of? See if he answers that what one. was that place? There lies the gate between this world and ours. It is closed, but it shall open once more. In one hundred of your years, two hundred, three. Okay. So, now speak. Don't ask, or I will kill you. I was gonna say maybe one question like that. Hear about Detloff. He's. I know who he is. What of him? He's sicked a swarm of lesser vampires on the city. I have to stop him. But I do not. Well, there's Regis. Um. Okay, so we can offer a favor. Innocents are dying. Don't think that's gonna work. Like we could try, but like I, I doubt. Doubtful. Detlaf spells trouble for you. That might work. But after that and what what is going on with Regis, I don't... I don't know if that matters that much. I somehow don't think he cares about innocence. I know, that's like really... Uh, it's weird how we would have that... That suspicion of... Yeah. Um... Signing that a, a pact here, right? Like a, a oh jeez. Help me, and I'll return the favor. <laughs> you help me. How? Depends on you. I'm not just some human. I'm you. Uh, no one. Oh, he doesn't even care. Wow, someone doesn't want Geralt's help? What? I ask for the last time. Shocking. Why should I care about Detlef? Why should I help you? Dang, that didn't even work. Okay, trouble? Sooner or later, Detlef will bring trouble. Serious trouble. How? As Kagmar brought trouble before, folk will take him down eventually. Might need a year or two or a decade, but they'll find a way. And then they'll go after other vampires. And eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear. Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages. Mars? They'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow. You can be sure. You'll kill them, naturally. So they'll flood these caves, or collapse them with explosives, destroying the gate you guard beyond repair. No. This Ooh. place must be secure. The gate. <gasps> Hi, Regis. Sorry about this. What 
is your plan. Give you the best. Thank you. Go, Geralt, I know. I, I'm just kind of shocked that someone turned down Geralt for a favor. Like, I'm... That's a first. <laughs> what is my plan? Oh, goodness. Detlaf has to die or to convince Detlaf to spare the city. I feel like he has to die at this point. I was all for sparing him, but... I don't know if I can at this point. I... I don't know. I don't know about that. I think he has to die. That laugh must die. I'm, I've made I my decision, I feel like, at this point. One oh. Of my own. Oh. We ask only that you summon him. We... We shall see to the rest. Oh, we just didn't like that. If you drink from him... I will be anathema. This I know. And still... I ask you to summon Detlaf. Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sent you there, I will summon Detlaf. I thank you. Leave me. That's a different reaction than I was expecting. I thought that was the right answer. Huh. He didn't want to kill him. That is their whole thing, though. I should have known that from the vampire lords. They don't want to kill each other. They want peace. Between each other. They don't kill each other. I forgot about that. Huh. Okay, so Regis and Oof. Geralt have a lot to talk about. Sorry, Regis. That went better than I expected it would. Did it? Did it? Think that went better than... You kidding? I'd have been dead on the spot if not for my slowed metabolism. And yet you survived. Though you are risking your life. The question is, why? This contract, it goes well beyond what witches customarily handle. I cannot abandon the matter, for Declaff and I are bound by blood, but you... You could simply walk away. Not so exactly, why, though. my friend? Why stay and risk your hide? I want the city to... Uh... That's your friend, I guess? For you? Do I make it cute? For you. You're in a heap of trouble, Regis. Trouble Detloff brought on. Seen you die once already. That one time was enough. I... Mm. I'm not certain I know what to say. Oh. I am grateful, oh. Geralt. Oh. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> All your unseen that... Uh, welcoming. No, they vary. Some are conceited, others imperious, but... Most can be reasoned with, but him... It was clear each word was a great effort. Interacting with others, it seems, it causes him physical pain. Never entered my mind that the conjunction of the spheres was also a cataclysm for you, for... Monsters, no euphemism required. You needn't seek one. I dare say it was worse for us. You arrived by the thousands. We were but a handful. Not much choice. Assimilate with you, or shut ourselves off from the world, like him. Cave I was tossed into. That where the gate between worlds is? In a sense, yes. Just slammed shut, sealed tight. Think it'll ever open again? Think you'll be able to go home? I sincerely doubt it. And I think, in truth, the Elder knows that as well. So why would he stay down there? What's the real reason? Hmm. To stay with the gate analogy, no door is ever completely impermeable. Smells come through, for instance. And when the wind rises, 
Some dust might be blown through the cracks. A palpable trace of things on the other side. It's not much, but it is something. Interesting. Yeah, someone like the Vampire Emperor? I mean, we just pretty much just saw him, like the Unseen Elder guy. Like, that was... That was the vampire boss if I've... If, if I ever were to see one. That that guy makes, like, Lord Harkon from Skyrim look... Cute, right? Like, I think... Like, what, <laughs> what is this? Uh, um... And you? How do you feel now, where you are? Geralt, imagine the least comfortable situation you could ever find yourself in. What would it be? I don't mean a moment of pain with death knocking at your door. Just a circumstance of great unease. All right. In that case, a court banquet. Gotta show up in hose and a tight doublet. Gotta smile at everyone. Geralt. And engage in vacuous conversation. Geralt. While Dandelion sings a ballad about me and Yennefer for all to hear. Mm -hmm. Very well. Now imagine you're stuck there. Not for an hour, not for an evening, but for all time. And should you fall out of character for but a moment, should you so much as scratch yourself where the stitching chafes all around you will scream, monster, monster, and they'll turn on you and tear you to shreds. Sounds tiring. Damn tiring. I couldn't have put it better myself. The time. Time to summon Deadlaugh. <sighs> yes, high time. Uh, do, do you wish to go to Tesha Mutna right away? Let's go. Want to get this over with? Okay. Yeah, so that's a trippy bit of lore about the, the whole conjunction of spears and stuff there. Kinda cool. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Shame the reason why we came here. Yes, quite the shame. with me for not freeing Siana, for not trying to resolve this peacefully? Mm, a bit. Though, perhaps I was fooling myself, latching on to the notion because I badly wished to believe there was some way to fix everything. However, matters have simply gone too far. I must come to terms with that. I keep questioning my decision, but I, I'm sticking with it. I think I also have to at this point. As he said, it's gone too far. Regis, let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Have him summon Deadloff. Hinthial, Chesu, Themyas.
didn't manage to find me, so you forced a meeting. Why? You know why. I've tired of guessing your human thoughts. So articulate them or leave me be. Stop them, please. Okay, also, Ozzy's just yelling. <laughs> Ozzy. Oh dear, I might need to go help him in a minute. Okay, so here's my thoughts right now. I don't really know what the right answer is, is in this moment. I, I know that I'm okay with killing him if I need to. I know that I'm okay with that, like if that needs to be done. But like, do I give him a chance to stop them? Or do we just go straight to killing him? I mean, I've kind of just escalated things, but he just keeps escalating things, so like... I'm not just gonna jump straight to here to kill you. If I need to kill him, I need to kill him, but... Please... Please stop. I understand your anger, but you need to stop the attacks in the city immediately. My conditions are clear. I wish to see Rello... I wish to see Siana. Yet she is not here. You know why. The Duchess would not release her. So the Duchess must face the consequences. Detlef, please. All this for one woman. You understand nothing. Oh. Oh. Let us be done with oh, this. Oh, he took the step back. Oh, he's scary. Oh. 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 Oh, I could have prepared. Who cares? Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have drank the potion. Oh, I didn't realize that's what ha was happening. Oh, it's fine. Everything's great. Everything's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm worried. I didn't prepare. 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 now okay everything's fine now okay let me actually fight him oh my god i was very afraid um everything's great everything's so good everything's very good okay uh -huh. we got our vampire oil on there right do i not have the automatic oil on here have i not even had it on the whole time is that a thing <gasps> i haven't oh my god you shall have brought up a child. I am disappointed! You murdered innocents. Don't do a damn thing. What just happened? If you acknowledge any gods, start praying now.
Damn, what is this? Oh! Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Oops. Okay, wait, I've seen that. Okay, I can skip to this. I'm not waiting, it doesn't you want me to skip the other one. Up. I am disappointed! You murdered innocents. Don't owe you a damn thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, that lab. I do feel bad, but you, you kind of jumped to the drastic option before you even gave me a, a, a chance, you know? Okay, more art. That needs to be my main thing. More art. More art. Any gods, start praying now. Did I even get him? Lots of art. Lots of art, art and plan. I've got this. Do you think that will stop me? Prepare to die, Witcher! Yes, 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 huge, 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 
Okay. Is he? Huh? That was cool. Oh my god, my heart. Oh my god, my heart. There. Okay. It's good. We got it. Wow. That was a fun fight. <laughs> that was the most I've had to, like, really try in this game the whole time. It was a fun time. I like that. <laughs> Come a long ways. <laughs> Alright, Regis, is Regis okay? I need to be more concerned about Regis. Okay, I was right though. This was a sweet boss fight on this path. I can't let I insist. did break the vampire code. They said if he drank the blood, he... Oh. Oh, what does that mean? Is he gonna die for that? Uh-oh. Geralt did not want this. Geralt's My, nightmare. What a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available. And according to the best tailoring practices. But... I... Oh my god. This game doesn't even give me a second to breathe. Okay, hang on. I... I... I'm... I'm like... Regis, I hope this is... Oh, I don't know. Let's see what... Ha okay, but I... Must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. <sighs> yeah. Usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. I despise formal occasions. There's better outfits hmm. for him. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else, which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. 
I will have to mm. see the other path. I Ceremonies, wonder. medals honoring virtues, just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. I wonder if the other way is better for Regis. I'm assuming it's not. Don't tell me it. Compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victims' names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Okay. Regis, Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, about reciprocity all this. takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. We gave him the money. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters, what's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together. Assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Oh my. Promise I'll change to be careful. <laughs> It's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on, then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. <laughs> but why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Love it. Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to write that down. <laughs> hey, objection. I don't know. Yeah, it's serious here today. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are good. Thank you, mods, and thank you, everyone, for just doing your best to, I know, reduce spoilers and stuff. It's so hard to tell sometimes, like, what is and isn't, and what... It, it's... It's tough. Just... So, thank you, guys. <laughs> How's business? Well enough. I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Come on, I invest in. Aren't you... Are you... Are you thriving? Maybe soon. We'll see. We gotta, gotta give him some time. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young. Got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Hmm. Beggars. 
Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know. They all had no home. Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get them from? Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that bootshine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Well, Look around inside. Okay. We've just got more and more. That's kind of crazy. Um, okay. So... Just want to see what is going on. So, pomp and strange circumstance. The Witcher had, at last, defeated the Beast of Beauclair. Her enlightened highness duchess, Anna Henrietta, invited him to a ceremony where she would award him the medal to Zan's highest honor. Geralt, famous for being one of the world's leading scruffs, possessed no outfit that would not violate protocol or be remotely suitable for such an occasion. Okay. That's false. I always keep a pair of fancy clothes in case we need one, but whatever. I guess it wasn't good enough for them. It wasn't blue enough. Regis, having nothing better to do, accompanied the Witcher to the tailors for his fitting. There, the vampire revealed that he the thought that was tormenting him. Namely, he believed Sayana had planned five murders from the start. He wished to know the identity of the fifth ident intended victim. He suggested to Geralt that they investigate the matter to the end. Yeah, so we're trying to find the fifth person who was going to be murdered before we stopped this, essentially. Gentlemen, there's no need to raise your voice. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. Uh. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballot. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. I don't know if they're talking about this guy specifically, but you? Decent folk you mention. Like, mean yourselves. I'm talking like vampires? Why? Maybe? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us on our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Here we go. Yes, we're running about town. I almost dumped my guts in here. Damn it. Okay. She's a dead hurt. Okay, I'm struggling with the camera ink. Okay. I'm struggling with being locked onto one of them. Yeah. You are one damn squib. I'll break your guts around your spine. Come 
Now, Twitter, try me. There we go. My gosh, that was not easy. All right, I can <laughs> take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beckers. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to He's go. like, I'm fine leaving, but... But you've come where? with a problem, have you? My turn to hate you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Oh. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait? They'll all soon come for their meal. I wonder if it's this guy. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. All right. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. Oh yeah, I didn't even use the potions. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold, and we wouldn't want that, would we? He's Recently, in the soup? four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Answers or cold soup. <laughs> Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romaine? Why should I squeal? You were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romaine. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romaine. Thank you. Who else? I got one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you as he's not here. Where? I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the feast of St. Barnabas. Letter, please. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and okay, simple. Okay, you could have asked first. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. No promises under All duress. All right. Take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. <laughs> oh my. So we did not have to get this, which is super interesting. Damn it. What is it? I have not Another done the road name, quest, truly? no. See for yourself. Well, well. Who? I, I Who? must say, even I did not expect this. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be this time? Anna? See to our Duquesa. Yeah. It seems we underestimated. Yeah, she's going to take out her sister. Uh oh. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first, you must snap her neck. Puzzling.
Uh, okay, so this is bad. Are they all gonna be like dead at this? Okay. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. Uh oh. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'état. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Yikes. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From you an back at her? Pension for evil? Yes, yes, and yes. All seem He's like, like all of the above. And none uh -huh. are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you can always ask her yourself. So Think it's a good idea? Think it's a good idea? After all, we foiled her carefully planned scheme. Think she'll even want to talk to you? Would it harm you in any way to try? Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Bridges? Coming with? Of course not. Oh. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Fair. <laughs> Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. <laughs> I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. He's like, well... But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly. Caused his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. If only my purse weren't empty. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to her. No. We have to. So Curse the coin. greedy. I uh, shall devour them. Wait, how do I leave? Shone good folk. Here we go. Okay. Let's see another first try. First try after a break, because he killed me a bunch. <laughs> but I came back from the break, and then it was first try, right? So, there's- there's that. <laughs> okay, this is quite a journey. Let's go talk to Sayana. This is super interesting, though. It looks like I should have probably just trusted Regis, but I don't know. I was- I was afraid for the guy. It just sounded like bad. It sounded- it sounded bad vibes, but... I don't know. This is also interesting. Okay, okay, here. Before I even say anything else about these two endings. I've played Cyberpunk. I've seen multiple endings in Cyberpunk. I've played the Cyberpunk DLC. I, I... I know that there's usually no truly happy option. So, let's see what the good and bad about this one is. But I do know sometimes there can be just like some really like oof things, so that's fair. Okay, wait, I want all their stuff. Halt! Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of?
What do I think this guy's gonna respond to? I don't think he's gonna care if I want to talk to her. I feel I'm gonna come to him with authority. Suspected of planning the Duchess's assassination. Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seeing she was planning your Duchess's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. Here we go. Oh, gotta catch up. Sorry. Apologies. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Hey, Sienna. Sorry to intrude, but I gotta ask you something. I have nothing to say to you. You're the one who put me in here. Have you forgotten? Sure, but you are here. So what's the harm in talking? Got something better to do? Oh? What do you want? Be brief. This cell. I feel like Geralt's just taunting downright her. Downright cozy. Second time you've been incarcerated in altogether pleasant conditions. Always seem to land on your feet. I wouldn't say that. I get no privacy here. But it is clean, because I cleaned it. They do say cleaning can be relaxing. But Carol... It isn't. It's a horrible, thankless task. But I'm not one to leave anything undone. For instance, before I left Nazaire, I also tidied my room. Even made my bed. I knew I'd never return. But I despise leaving unfinished business. Messes. Loose ends. Dogged determination. Guess that's admirable. I was praised for it as a little girl. Only for that, in fact. So I don't know about how I handled this tonight, but it's certainly interesting. Went to a place where Beauclair's beggars congregate. Found proof that you'd planned your sister's demise. Anna Henrietta. She was Deadloff's ultimate target from the start. Your target. Bravo, Witcher. I congratulate you on your deductive reasoning skills. But what I'd planned has nothing to do with you. Wrong. Has everything to do with me. You were hired to kill the beast. Said beast is dead. So go collect your metal and leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Why must you meddle in everything? That laugh wasn't the beast. Regis, he's always saying Deadloff was more animal-like, less human than him. It might have been so. Deadloff acted on reflex, was driven by primordial instincts. Whereas you're driven by cruelty, hatred, and a lust for vengeance. They hired me to kill the beast, true. Thing is, something tells me the real beast is you. You've no notion who I am or what drives me. Hit me with it. Actually came hoping to learn something. It's clear you are out for vengeance. Against those who drove you from the palace? Curse of the Black Sun. That was their reason, right? It's certainly what they claimed. They said I was dangerous. A mutant. Knights, Crespi, hmm? Dulac, Delacroix, and Peyrac Perrin. They got the task of whisking me away, abandoning me outside the Duchy's borders. They were following orders. So they were, though they did so eagerly. Especially when I tried to flee. Crespi beat me unconscious with a whip. The others stood by and watched. Peyron found okay, so why are you trying opportunity to, kill your sister, to take his frustrations out on me. While Dulac and Delacroix insulted me, mocked me. I swore then I would never forget. I would find them. Find them all. So things could be going better, you know, they could be, but we're we're getting somewhere. Um hmm. How do 
I tell her? I don't... I don't know if I understand. Didn't have it easy. Give you that much. Like, no, she didn't. Still no excuse for what you did. I didn't expect you to understand. I need no sympathy. Not from you. Not from anyone. I regret nothing. Nothing? If I could turn back time, I'd not decide otherwise at any juncture. They all deserve to be punished. My sister, most of all. Oh. Enough. Your visit's done. Ah, oh, thank the stars. All right, feels like both of the statements are true, right? I understand, but that's no excuse. Yeah, so I'm happy that's kind of what Geralt said. I'm happy that that's more or less what he, he went for. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Shall I go? We ready? I think we're ready. Anything else I need to do? I don't think so. Yeah, you can learn a bit more about her motivations. Yeah, I... Hmm. It'll be interesting if we do end up playing through the other path, because, like... I don't know, I feel like I needed more options or something. Okay, alright, here we go. Let's go. Ah. I see him, too. No more stalling. Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony. He's not looking too good. Your face doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. Uh-huh, I'm sure. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Sianna's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister. Her liege. Traitor. I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. It's I'll important. see to it personally. That seems very important. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me. And I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the guild's name, I beg Again? your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Okay. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For Quite now, an outfit for we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, Slayer of the Beast of Beauclair. Okay, we get a medal. Ooh. Step forth. Yay. <coughs> 
We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. That is how we started. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved Cheers for the Ducal to that. Table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Oh. Are you content? Got bad news, Sayana was out to kill you. I don't think that's the moment to tell her that, if at all. So I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> but I kinda wanna see what that does. <laughs> um yeah, like Geralt would say, can't wait. Yes, very. Heard a lot of good things about that <laughs> appellation. Oh, fancy. Thanks again. Cheers. The appellation, yes. In a moment, I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly, but she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. So she doesn't know. Maybe I should have told her. She gonna like cut off her head? The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess yes, requested a problem? I be present. You have committed crimes, grave crimes. Yet you are my sister, and my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus, I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Okay, okay, so I did not tell her, but, but the guy knows, the guards know. The guards know, that's the main thing. That's why I didn't tell her, because someone else knows. Guards all know. I think she should be punished. She was trying to kill her, so I think... I don't know if that's what she wants to hear, but like... She's just gonna kill her a different time if we don't kill her right now, right? Like, I don't know. Am I going to get her killed because I say that? I, oh gosh, I, I, I hope she does not die. There's definitely a way that she dies right now. But I, uh, I mean, maybe not definitely because I told the guards. Maybe not, but I don't know. <laughs> um, hope for the best. No matter the mitigating circumstances, whatever they may be. Siana is a criminal and should be tried as such. And punished as such. Her guilt is clear. Your words sadden me greatly, <laughs> Witcher. But I cannot like, deny oh, no. their logic. But okay. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. 
Yet we shall never cease to be family. What was that? What was that? What was that hand? As Duchess, what was that? I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? Okay, see, the guards know. The guards know. The guards know. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. What's in her hand? What's in her hand? What's in her hand? What's it? I shall never forgive you. No! <gasps> wasn't enough. Well, that's not what I wanted. No. Oh, damn. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've done it now, you guys. I've done it now. Oh my god. Who else Some got this on their first ending? Probably not many. Why? I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral. Folk took it all. Men, women, children. All wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, peonies. Gladioli. Oh no! But she liked common verses best. <gasps> you got this. I know. Her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. I was overthinking this uh, way too hard. I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by a And now I got everyone sister. killed. How could it happen? Yeah, tomorrow we'll have to do the other one. This is the easiest ending to get. I mean, yeah. No, it definitely, it definitely seems like it is. Like, it, I, like. Oh my gosh. I didn't tell her. I didn't understand. No, that's, that's the big regret right now. I wish I just would have told her. I just, I didn't, it didn't seem like the time, but that's the whole point, is it didn't seem like the time. It just seemed so random. It just seemed like such a random moment to tell her. It was not, oh, it's okay, it's fine, everything's fine. Not for them, though. I let them down. How? Quickly, unexpectedly, she was gone before I understood what was happening. <sighs> I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do Aww. just that. Farewell. The statue. The statue. Mm 
No, I got her killed. I was specifically trying to avoid that. I did that whole thing, and I specifically went against Regis because I thought that this... <laughs> I thought that this would save her. And then it did the exact opposite. Characters always wait to relay information, and that always leads to bad things. You know, you're right. I do call out movies for that, so I, I did it too. I did it too. <sighs> the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Oh, yes. Oh, we learned in Baldur's Gate too. I <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, here he comes. Well, hero. see how this wraps up. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I got the tragic ending, you guys. I can't believe I did it. I actually did it. I actually... <laughs> <laughs> At least we didn't get the tragic, like, main game That's ending, whatever. Game. Yeah. Oh, we went and watched the tragic main game ending, actually. That one was pretty tragic. Wait. Okay, hang on. So here we are. Okay, Geralt, stop running everywhere. There we go. What will the morrow bring? Pass in one crypt with the Duchess. It's not decent. Matter or no. She was the Duchess's sister, shared her blood. Mm. She should lie with her kin. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't be so hard on Don't yourself. Blame yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. Oh. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside, then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. Oh. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins. And she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarietta. So many people died. Like, so many of them died. And then they died too. I <laughs> have the option to put on both graves. I didn't go on a path that showed me more about Sayana. I'm sure that there is one, but that wasn't our path. I regret it ended this way, that I failed to prevent it. Hope you can forgive me. Rest in peace. I just mostly feel bad about Regis. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, oh, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. Oh, stop. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. Oh, Regis. Well, 
Let's go. All those deaths I failed to prevent. Feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint's left without a ruler. Or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Oh. Cheers. What an interesting ending to this. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more... Mm, philosophical. Pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. <laughs> True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out He's excellent. He's like, I don't know. Indeed. But it's good. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? Right, right now? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I'm a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have <laughs> absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? He's like, yes, in the dark. <laughs> if you think it's a good idea, let's go. I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. A mask and gloves? Wait, where? Quest items? Quest items. All right, Geralt, the plague doctor? I'm so, what? Huh? Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? No, I was thinking about, oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? <laughs> Only picks the sword. Where are they? I read the graves. Heroic hunter of insects and pests. Spent his whole life exterminating bugs. Now he lies in the earth among them. Okay. Mandrake roots. Hello. 
carrying too much. I suppose it has been a while since we've been to a merchant. There it is. Grave robbing. Uh, uh, I. It's looting, guys. Don't worry. It's not grave robbing. I'm simply looting the grave. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> um, it's different. <laughs> now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He is a vampire, after all. Regis. I just picked up the thing I dropped. I'm I'm good at this. I'm good at the game. Regis. Oh. Damn it, where'd you go? Oh. Which way? Are we going this way? I think we're going. Regis. Damn it, where'd you go? You raise your hand against the <laughs> Huh? Those what? Brooks, eh? They called you a traitor. Did they? Alas, I didn't we didn't get that we far. Have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we've another Yeah, role, they're hunting him. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Aww. Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Ugh. Let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. I feel like I let Regis down. Mmm. Supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. Then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco Vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home. On the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Interesting. So we have yes, I think I'll settle down there for good. No, I was made to kill monsters. I don't know yet. If I know, like I, don't, I think, I think Errol. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hardworking vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on. Uh, which, of course, brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. 
Its sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like mamoons and dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. Where is he going? What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could oh. be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. So don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Oh, oh the camera sti- what? The look into the camera? I love it. Oh my god, you guys! We actually beat the game! We actually beat the game! Oh my god, I have a lot of feelings about my ending right now. I'm feeling a lot of things about it. It, feel, it reminds me of the, uh... I don't know, about how I feel about my cyberpunk ending. <laughs> Both of my cyberpunk endings, honestly. Oh. oh my gosh. Well, I do wish I would have trusted Regis, but... That was, you know, that was interesting. I wouldn't say it was, like, the worst outcome ever. Like, it... I mean, it was for Anna Henrietta and stuff, but, like... How interesting. Oh, there is some unfinished business, yeah, with the orphanage. <laughs> True. He said he will come for her eventually, though, so... I'm sure he'll get around to it. He'll get there. Yeah, is there more still? We'll have to see. Uh, actually, I'd love to go home. Um, also, Craig, thank you so much for gifting the five, um, YouTube memberships. Thank you. That means a lot. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are all enjoying the evening. Oh my goodness. Okay, go home, it says. I'm supposed to go home. Quests. Geralt decided to go home to Corvo Bianco. Said he had something there for us, so... Alright. Let's go run home. Come on, Roach. Let's go! I'm kind of sad that we didn't see Yennefer this time. We at least heard from her. Whoa so I there, feel Roach. like... I don't know. This this is a game that I see why you guys like replaying all. This is one that I'd love to go back through, kind of replay, take some more time again, and just go pick up on all like the details and everything that like I missed the first time, and just all the crazy amount of information that's hard to you know understand all at once on that first playthrough with everything else going on. Oh, I am so excited for that. I feel like there were certain things that I misunderstood here and there that definitely affected our game. But that's kind of part of the fun of it and part of the beauty and part of the fun of our always chaotic playthroughs, you know? 
Let's go. Vickers, Russians. Hey, there. Uh, yeah. How much for your Seriously, what, what a journey. Um, I would like... So, we're, we're not done here tonight yet. Um, no one but tomorrow, I'd like to go do the other path. And reload. And trust Regis. And see how I feel about that. See if we can get a good ending there. But I think I saw that you guys were saying that, uh, like, warning Anna Henrietta at that point wouldn't have even... Wouldn't even help, so. Yeah, it kind of just seemed like what what was gonna happen was gonna happen. Is this our place? Not the right side of it. Zoop. Roach mission. We can also possibly do that now? <laughs> Might also... I mean, yeah, we can do it tonight. We can also do it tomorrow if we end up not getting to it for some reason. Kitsy, kitsy. Wow. And then, gosh, it's gonna be time to switch it up with some other Are game series for a minute. I'm not even sure what that's gonna feel like. All right, let's see. Master Witcher. Some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Yennefer? First thought is Yennefer, but I don't know if that's correct. Unexpected as ah, ever. Ha. Oh, I was gonna say. And beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. Quite true. Used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Oh. Come outside. We can hold hands and stare at the sky. <laughs> like some shitty two-crown romance. Okay. Let's go stare at the sky. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how playing through this with a different romance would also affect it. I'm sure it would. How trippy. Oh, we made it, found our happy ending. Oh my god, okay, all right, take my time. Like it here? Liking Tucson so far? Hmm, the landscape's lovely and the towns are charming, no question about that. But? But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. hmm. Might need to think about changing your color palette. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. That's a suggestion. Mm -hmm. And I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. Yes. I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Okay. Sounds fair. Bring you whatever you want. <coughs> Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the orchid. A widower for half a year. <laughs> half a year? Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. Oh. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. Wow. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I which came is here. Geralt? Ooh. Ooh? Yeah, when, Yen is like ready for this. She's like ready, all about the house. She's all for this. I love it. Huh. 
a way to save Anna depends on an unrelated choice in the main game. Interesting. Don't tell me which one. I appreciate you not. Um, but that's super interesting. Team neither. No. <laughs> you know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm. I must say, I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> Was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Unicorn. Namely, Unicorn. I shall give you yes. a hint. Yes, yes. It's large, <laughs> white, has four legs, category taxidermy. Oh yeah, the unicorn. Fine. You can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. Yeah. Oh, how cute. Ever thought this day would come? Me and you, peace and quiet. Bees buzzing, birds chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. She would like the like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, Adio. it's an ill Come bird on. that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm. Mm. Damn it, you win. This time. <laughs> How'd that start, anyway? Our duels in wordplay. Forgotten. It was at a vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. <laughs> Never change, Geralt. I beg you. Oh, that's so cute. I'm so happy for them. Okay, well. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. Oh. Oh, oh my. Okay, do you, we, we can't, we come and then we go? Hello, goodbye? Hello, goodbye. Is that it? Did we do it? You guys, did we... Did we beat the game? Did we actually, actually beat the game? Oh my gosh. Rating for the game? Oh, I mean, this is... This has got to be one of the 10 out of 10s up there. This is going to be definitely within some of my top games. Um, Exactly where it is on that list, I, I will have to plan that out think about that but no it's definitely like I see why I enjoyed cyberpunk so much and I'm so happy that I took the time to go back and play this one um that I never did before like I, I oh my god okay Regis yeah, was that Regis's gift? I don't think Yennefer is Regis's gift, so let's let me see. <laughs> said kitchen or something? That's what he said? Yes, kitchen. No. That's our food. Oh, that's the meals that she was making us. That's what that was. Okay, got it. Um Oh dear. Is there something- wait, what am I supposed to find? Was there something from- Oh, the nightstand! He did say the nightstand in the bedroom. Hang on. I'm like, huh? I thought he said the kitchen for some reason. Dear Geralt, if you are reading these words, it means I am already far beyond the borders of Toussaint, and you have found my mutagenerator. Oh, it was Regis's. Of 
course, you may dub this instrument however you like, perhaps something more fitting to your taste or better reflecting its function, for I have no doubt your knowledge on the subject of mutagens is far more profound and thorough than mine. I've been working on this device in my spare time, but now it is finished and I am convinced, as convinced as an inventor can be before his invention has been used as intended, of the usefulness of this apparatus. You are surely wondering what function it is meant to serve. As the name indicates, the muta generator generates mutagens. It operates by absorbing electromagical energy waves from bodies, in this case, the bodies of the monsters and evildoers you kill, and when it's absorbed enough that so as to be charged a critical amount, the muta generator changes the stored energy into a greater mutagen. Surely understand, amateur engineer, which is why you must forgive the lack of an ability to direct you for you to direct this operation. Which mutagen emerges as a result is determined at random, meaning chance will decide if it's green, red, blue. Chance, yet I have noted the colors tend to alternate, by and large. I trust you shall find my gift useful. Dear and devoted friend, Emil Regitz Rolek Terzif Godefroy. You might be wondering why I decided to toss the muta generator into your home instead of simply handing it to you in person. Well, you must know I did it out of modesty, believe it or not. Take care, Geralt, and may my gift serve you well. What a painting. What a game! Is that- is there more? There it is. There's the muta generator. Okay, so that- the thing- okay, so... Yeah, there's the painting. So we got the muta generator. So how do I- how do I use this? How do I use this? Use. Gather the charges for it. Oh! Okay, like you said. Okay, well that's pretty cool. How fun! Okay, so yeah, so the 10 year anniversary video or something is good? Yeah, oh, okay, so it's the 10 year anniversary of The Witcher 1. Got it. I was like, huh? Yeah, this game is nine years old, so... Okay, fair enough. Mm. Guys, now what? Now what? Now what do I do? Okay, well, no, okay. So, okay. I would like to see Roach's Quest. But I also would mainly like to see some of the other... Other sort of... Um options tomorrow okay my brain is breaking a little bit so we shouldn't go too much longer anyways but i wouldn't mind right like what <laughs> popcorn and chatting i mean that's not a bad idea the other path is definitely worth playing absolutely so we're gonna we're gonna play that tomorrow i'm not gonna start like a whole whole nother thing like that this was already pretty long and you guys said the other one is even longer somehow which like what there we go. Get some of that music back on. Um, that was amazing. Thank you guys again for joining me on this incredible playthrough. Like, what a game. What a time. Okay, so... Oh, wow, many more playthroughs for us to do here. Many more things for us to see even in this game and many more choices to make. 